get you off on the right foot with Scenario Builder, let's look at the technology behind the Scenario Recorder. Scenario Builder is an image-based tool. What does this mean to you? Well, simply that it responds to screens the same way you, an actual user, would. Keep this in mind as we go through a recording session. We'll use a popular shipping company's website to demonstrate how image technology works in Scenario Builder. Launch Scenario Builder and select Open Web App to begin. Enter the desired web application's URL in the dialog box and click OK. Scenario Recorder launches and immediately alerts us to capture an anchor image before proceeding. The anchor image serves two purposes. One, it tells Scenario Builder to wait and find this image before advancing, thereby keeping the scenario engaged with the screen. And two, it provides a relative point of reference for the subsequent mouse clicks which will occur on the page. The image you select must be integral to the form or page on which your clicks will occur. In other words, make sure that you're selecting an anchor image that, when loaded, indicates that the form on which you're clicking has also loaded. Notice Scenario Builder's image capturing tool defaults to a specific capture window size, which can be used by simply clicking. This comes in handy when capturing any number of same-sized images, like labels. To override this feature and resize the capture window, press Ctrl and click and drag to create any size rectangle. Let's take the UPS logo as the anchor image, and we'll use the default capture window. Notice the image is named automatically. For speedier recording, you may opt to disable the image confirmation window. If you do, images will be named and accepted without prompting. After the anchor image has been accepted, Scenario Recorder is poised and ready. So now, we merely interact with the web page. Clicking in the Location field, typing U to select our location, then clicking Enter to open the next web page. Ah, something has changed on the screen. The UPS logo has gone away. So Scenario Recorder is alerting us to update our anchor image. As humans interacting with web pages, we take for granted the visual cues that dictate our mouse clicks. Scenario Builder, however, reacts literally to these same cues and alerts us whenever the screen is changed. To update the anchor image, select Capture New Image. This time we'll take an image of the Calculate Time and Cost button. This happens to be the next button on which we'll click, always a good choice for an anchor image. As mentioned earlier, the image capture window can be resized to conform to any image size. Here we'll resize it to capture the button. Now, when we click the button, right on cue, Scenario Recorder recognizes another screen change, affecting our anchor image, and alerts us to update. You'll notice that the image capture window has defaulted to the last size used. Again, we simply click, type, tab, and enter through the form, as a normal user would. Each step will be recorded to our scenario. Now, when we click Continue, Scenario Recorder again alerts us to update the anchor image. This time the web page is a bit sluggish, so we want to be patient and wait until it's finished loading. And we'll look for the last image to render on the screen, as this will ensure that the page is fully loaded and that our scenario will stay synchronized during playback. Okay, so this is where we'll stop recording. Now Scenario Builder reverts to the standard view in which our entire scenario is laid out for editing. We've got a complete list of actions from which to choose if we need to add or insert steps into the scenario. For example, say we want to know just how long it takes for the shipping cost results screen to load. We'll create a transaction which will isolate and measure the response time of this particular step. I also want to point out the ease with which we can globally edit properties for similar actions. 
Let's change the image timeout from 10 to 30 seconds, giving all the images in our scenario sufficient time to load. This property update will update every image action in the scenario. Lastly, before we play it back, let's look at the scenario debugging feature. If we click Take Playback Images, Scenario Builder will provide screenshots mapping the mouse clicks related to each anchor image. This can be extremely helpful in troubleshooting scenarios. Let's enable the property and I'll explain further after we execute the scenario. Notice when we save the scenario a pop-up reminds us to consider adding an on failure section, a highly recommended best practice before utilizing scenarios in load and performance tests. An on failure section can be added to the scenario at any point in the future. Let's play our scenario and see how it performs. The execution report gives us not only our overall scenario playback time, but also provides the page load time for the shipping cost screen, which we marked with a transaction. We'll click Set Reference Time to store this time as a reference against future executions. Before we conclude, let's get back to that debugging feature. If we click the red icon next to any image in the scenario, we get a screenshot indicating all of the mouse clicks anchored off of that image. Thank you for trying Scenario Builder. We're sure that you'll join the list of testers who agree it's the easiest, most versatile test scripting tool on the market. Thanks for watching.